new stuff coming out in the Black Friday stuff that's coming out tonight in like two hours, maybe an hour. I might even upload this late because I, I came to this late because I was editing shit and things. So let's quickly talk about them and let me record them quickly. So you guys on Goku, I already looked at most of their kits, but damn. So I look at you guys on Goku at three stars because that's the about where you're gonna get them if you even get them. So. I'm gonna say his uh, offenses are really good, and his def but his defenses are kind of like average, below average. So overall, his stats are good, but I don't think they're insane in any way. So his main ability, you cannot stop. You draw a free card on this assault, which is always good to have because alts are always good. So having that is just automatically good. Joking them, restore his own health by 30%. This is like high percentage, which means that he's. Well, he's not really tanky. He can survive a bit longer than most units can. And he restores the key by 40. So basically, he's guaranteed to hit this plus another card. So he gets 25% to Fusion Warriors, which is not too relevant due to the fact that Fusion Warriors are not insane at the moment, but it could be insane in the future. So this could be good in the future. Applies the following effect to himself with the Bastards 60%, which is a good percentage of damage inflicted. It's not insane, but his offenses are good enough where both of them are good, so this is relevant. He reduces damage by 20%, is that's very good for him, even though it's not really too relevant. I don't know, I'm just saying not too relevant too much, but this is good. 60% damage inflicted is good because he's gonna do some damage, reduces damage. Because he can tank a bit better than his, even though his defense is not crazy, at least he can at least defend against 20%. Because he's mostly, to me, a glass cannon. He gets key recovery, means he's gonna have key and minus these. This is good. So he probably, the, he pauses this to himself. With this dodge, I think this is gonna be pretty good because he's gonna probably live long enough to hit 8 counts most of the time. So, for free counts, he gets restore key. So, you're in a combo, if you have in free counts, you can get 30 key. And in any count, you can get dirty key, and you get even more damage. So I think this is a good part. So this passive overall to me looks pretty good. This main looks really good because I feel like this on Thomas assault is gonna be crazy. So I'm gonna say this is a really good main ability, and this passive is pretty good. Imperfect instinct, the thing we've been looking for most. The first two times this character performs a cover change, knock back enemy back to long range if cover change is effective to. So this means that to any strikes to blast, you can cover change, and it only activates during it. So it only happens twice, though. No, it always cover change, but he also gets, he always gets a. No, yeah, yeah no, this uh, this cover change only happens twice. That's what I'm getting from it. Consume thirty percent of this character's unique gauge, so he has his own gauge, and it will always dodge against tap and tap shot. This could be good, could be bad. Tackle, I think this is really good against tackle though. Strike and, and blast, because. If you end up messing up against a tackle, then you just dodge it. So that's really good. I don't know about tap blast. I think this is all right. And we're not big whenever you don't have enough unit gauge or immediately falling a thing. So you basically, when you're sidestepping and and they hit you during the middle of it, then it will hit. You still get hit. And your unit gauge will always decrease while you're in battle, or while you're always increasing while you're on standby. So overall, this looks like a fan path. Fun passive overall. I think this could be a good passive. I, I don't know, but this could be a good passive. But this, this passive movie looks looks fun. It's not like op. It looks to me it doesn't look cr absolutely op unique. Oh my gosh, no. It just looks like a really fun passive, which could be broken or balanced. So I don't know. This could be good. At least especially on the strike stuff or blast. <laughs> The special move does 25% to special move, so it doesn't do a lot of damage. Plus, it has massive, which is always a good modifier. It restores its own unique thing by 50%. So, basically, if you use this and then you do this, it means you get to have like. I'm going to assume that you only get two dodges with this, because I don't think you're going to get third three most of the time, due to the fact that you lose a gauge. And you also get 50%. So, that means basically, you should be getting over four dodges with this and your unique i think this special is insane for him and then inner flame so based on what people i heard i heard this is just a gohan gohan's thing so to see how good it is you restore 10 percent he's this makes him more tanker than what he is but i think that's really good for him because even if he does get hit you can just restore it back so i think this is really good and he gets 40 key so and since you're Pretty much getting a free combo off him. 40 key is amazing. And you get 20% damage reflected and card jaw speed. This is ins 
insane as a passive. Like, this is a really good passive. Like, you get health, dam key, damage, and car draw speed for free. And if you can get this right away, plus to do any of these, this is insane. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you, this passive, I mean, and this, this um, green card is, I feel like makes some C tier to me. Like, just look at the C tier. Like, this green card, oh my god, so good. And then Thomas Assault, he's just super massive. I went, I liked that Barash's video. Super and, and massive is just supreme. So, and this green card, oh, this ultimate is just Vegeta Blue, and that's a good one. So, I'm gonna say this is a good one just by looking at it. Um, I personally would have preferred if this is just Strike or Blast, because I think his Strike is stronger, so I would just rat if that was just Strike. So, I think this is just the worst part of his kit overall. <laughs> And overall, I don't think his ZP for this one is good, but you want him to free start because this is a good passive. Even six star, I don't think you're getting him six star. But if you get a free start or six star, you get two of the best uh, buffs. But if you get the reverse saga, I don't think that's too relevant, honestly. So you might say that Goku to me looks like a Z to unit you know, with his green card based on his green card and his overall kit is just pretty fun. I think he will be a Z to unit. I think I don't think he would place the super free on the same team though. But I think he will definitely be the best unit on the God Key and Universe you know, So let's look at Jiren, the man himself, the big leader of the Pride Troopers. So I'm look I'm just looking at his strike attack at six stars. His, his strike attack is insane. His last card is a little weak, but his defenses are good too. So overall his his stats are good. So you can take hits and do law strike damage, which is all the max to him. So I'm gonna take a drink of water, please. Okay, it's over main ability. He draws the ultimate card Overheat Magnetron. Restore all health by twenty percent. So he's gonna be a little bit against the stand ability. He gives a lot of key, three percent of strike, and he increases draw speed by thirty counts. I think this is a good unit because he gets draw speed for thirty counts, which is so long. He gets strike attack and he gets key with it. So and he also can guarantee a hit on the ultimate. That's a good main. That's a good main ability. The best of the best. Applies the following stuff to himself. 50% damage inflicted, 70% key restore, and gains the effect. No more. Wait. No more cover change, pretty much. I think this is what it says. I think this is really good because basically you can't cover change against them. You just get hit by him. And he does so much damage. And he gets 50% damage inflicted for some reason. I don't know what this means, but I think he's going to get a lot of damage. Like 100% if you can get both of these. And he heals. He's, he's just really good. Like He's an all rounder to me. He does a lot of damage, he can heal, he gets called Charles Speed, and he can just do, he's just really good at damaging, honestly. He also also gets guarantees us of 40% damage inflicted, and he also uh, always reduces Swain, and and I think this is only for the first one, but he reduces 50%, so he's pretty tanky, and he always cover chain strike and strike. The overall, his uniques are insane. This is, I think this is, unique is pretty good. And this, I think this passive right here is insane. He gets this. I think this could be good. I don't know. Do a massive explode damage. And he does this. 30% more special. This would be good. Strong. His green card, Fatal Impact. Destroys all of his own cards and draw four randomly. So if, if you just if you use all of them, draw four. You also get a 50 key with it. That means you get a new combo whenever you green card. Restore advantage twice. He can live on. He can basically do free combos in one turn. That's pretty good. He gets twenty percent, which is, makes him or more damage, and he inflicts no switching. So basically, you can with this green card. If you're on a combo, you can just kill them right away. Fatal impact is a insane green card. I think it's almost as UI science. And then his overheat magnatron do massive explosive damage. It spent ultimate damage, and he they can't heal afterwards. This is pretty good. Overall, I think Jiren is like I, I look online. A lot of people are saying Jiren and UI Saiyan Goku are absolutely insane. I agree. UI Saiyan Goku is probably to me looks better to me. I think he's probably the most insane unit in the game, depending on his dodge thing. But Jiren looks like more to me. He's more likely to be better. Like, but I think UI Saiyan Goku will be better. That's just my guess, though. I think Jiren. Like he he looks fundamentally looks better than UI Son Goku, but UI Son Goku to me has a special oop to it, which makes him might potentially be just way better. 
So we're looking at Topo, who is a defense support unit. He has really good defenses, and his offense is stinky. So they're not really that good. Draws ultimate just just a tornado. He restores his own allies every turn. It's always good to have. 30% damage inflicted to allies by 4 count, and that's good. He shows his allies name by 5 counts, and he restores key by 50. This unique is, to me, looks... I'm gonna be honest, I don't think Rattle Universe would be that good. Like, I think it's gonna be a good team, viable, but I don't think it's gonna be insane. So overall, this unique seems way too tail for me to universe, rival universe. Until Rattle Universe gets better, I think this unique is not gonna be too great. But this is good right here. At least this part's good. This part could be insane if you have a good rival team and 50% is always good and healing is always good. Applies the final effect to whenever he joins it, he gets 50% damage, quick, so that's good to have. Reduced 30%. So he's going to be guaranteed 30% reduced by by default, which is good, but I think... Actually, he's blue, and he, this, is, this is good for him. This is good for the Wild Universe, because they can actually defend against Golan, kind of. He also gets all mag minus cards to everything, so that's, I think this is good. After a uh, cover, after, like, cover change. Damage reflect is by 20%, and he gets this to Wild Universe. I don't think this will be too relevant until Rival Universe gets stronger. And then he also gets reduced 30% to his cover change, so he's guaranteed reduced 60% when you're cover changing. So this makes him pretty damn tanky. And he also gets, whenever he, a person switches, he gets 30% to the strike and reduces their enemies. And he also restores own health by endurance. Ooh, that's all I'm talking. This guy looks pretty good. I'm actually going to be all good. This normal, this, I don't think this is too good. This doesn't look too good to me, and this looks pretty strong. I'm gonna be honest with you, Topo looks really good and as a support, but I don't think his Bravo Universe will be too strong until later. So I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think Topo will be top tier. I think he'll be like an S tier again, or maybe even just tier 1 for me. But he's good, he's good. He just needs his team to get a little bit stronger in my opinion, because I don't think Jiren would just carry it by himself. It's possible, I don't think so though. Now this though. Uh, I remember I was looking for him beforehand. I don't think he's that good, honestly. Like his offenses are not that great. Like they're good for they're average. His his defense are average too. He gets the alternate circle flash. Weird name. Thirty percent. He also gets damage reflected for his own teammates. I think that's good for him because it gives him a lot of viability to this whole team. So overall, to me, it looks like his team has a lot of support and Jiren, who is insane unit force. That's good for him. He also restores on key by 40% and destroys all your enemies' cards. This massive looks good. Not insane though. So he reduces for the Bowser until for 20 counts, and this one's for 60 counts. So he basically guarantees himself 20% all the time until 60 counts. And um, so to me, he looks like he's gonna be really good just as a early game unit who can tank and just do stuff. And just 80% damage, that's a lot of damage, and 100% and minus 5 blast cards. He also can guarantee us of sub counts less, so it means he can constantly switch a lot. I think this is insane, though. This part is insane. I think this part is not actually too good. I think this is really good, but I don't think it's enough to carry him. And But this is part, this part right here is, I think, might make him insane, but it depends on how it is. This looks like a Vegeta Blue thing where. He randomly draws a randomly card when he hits a card, which is basically Vegito drawing a strike every time. Makes it look weaker because it's random, but it resets every switches, and reduces cards by 15. And I think this is a really insane pass part of his passive. Overall, his passives are in, in general is just good, but not insane. While his Topo, I think it's insane. I just didn't, I don't think his team is insane enough to make it work yet. I don't think this is good because mainly card destroying cards are not good, especially on special because you're ending the combos so which you just reach all the cards. So this is rarely draws a card. This could be good. And he nullifies a cool card to 15 counts. Um, uh, downgrades him. Stuff like that. I'm so tired right now, honestly. But this could be good. It means that he can't take any debuffs. So if you're against a debuff unit, this good. This is pretty good. But well, he also gets this from Bowser, so if it's after 50 counts, you get draw speed, and after there is draw speed, more and longer, and full damage is like this. This one card doesn't look too good to me. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, this could be good and situational. This could, this is just meh. Because if you just use it at neutral, this 
You probably don't get cards back by the time this ends anyway. And this, you have to wait so long. Like, I don't think this those green cards is that good, honestly. And his ultimate skill, Circle Dang, he does massive explosion damage and he, he, he does a lot of inflicting. I don't think this is that good. Like, it's ultimate, so it's a, basically a free big damage, but so this is not too relevant, but I don't think this, this debuffs are that good. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think this pose is that good. I think he's a. He's probably gonna be the weakest unit out of the bunch. He could be good, but I don't think so. So let's look at the new events. That's probably coming out. I think there's any coming. But yeah, I don't think there's any new ones coming. Uh, okay, I don't see any new ones coming. I think it's just a banner. So, yeah, that's kind of meh. Let's look at the banner before we end this video off. I'm not gonna look at quips because I don't know which ones are quips, honestly. I didn't really check on that. So let's look at the banner. It's a regular band except for these units here. The prizes will be Topo, Jiren, and Yui San Goku, who are probably the two insane units, Jiren and Yui San. So you get Yui San Goku, must summon from me, personally. This guy, I think he's weaker than Battles, but if you don't have him, you want him, honestly. Or you can get this guy, but get the Zenkai him. Um, so personally, Yui San Goku, also you want more dynamic Goku. He builds so you can get his pass, um, his main build, his Senkai at some point. This bow, you, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think you want this bow, honestly. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, you don't want this bow. Then Topo, he is something you want. Jiren, of course. And you get two of these guys. Super Saiyan God Goku, which is good, except unless you get Saiyan Goku, which is not like with point twenty five. you're more likely to get this guy. So if you get this guy and not this guy, this is lovely to get. Goku is probably going to be the protector of him, and Hit's not good for me, and Kefla's good to get. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at the X, yeah, let's look at him real quickly. I'm going to say we get him 6 starred. So, he has good defenses, but his offenses are bad. Restore C, this is good. This is good, that means he gets hit more. I'm sorry, it reduces this. I think it's a switch one, actually. The key, he did restore key while you hit them, so it's not really too relevant. He restores after after a enemy hits, you get a guaranteed forty percent forever, and you get to restore key, and you cancel every downgrade. So this could be good. Um, he restores new disbuffing, so that's good. But inflict all enemies with downgrade. This could be good. It's a really good debuff because thirty percent extra damage is always good to have. And when he switches, he gets resource key. So he's just a key restorer. Okay. Hmm. I don't think this guy's good. No. He's good for the D um, Z ability. I would definitely want him for Z ability. Like, he gives already both things during battle already. And he can put off a point. He wants this with powerful points. He's not like it though. So overall, this bear is going to be insane though. Like, you have. Goku, Gohan, who is a good unit. He, these guys are gonna be insane. And on God Key, this guy is really good in fusion, and this person I don't care for. I think I think it's kind of bad. Jiren is good. It's gonna be I mean, not even good. Insane. Topo is good. To this one is underwhelming, but I think he, he could be good. Beerus is gonna be good if you Senkai. Senkai is gonna be really good. He's still good if you're not Senkai. He's insane, even while I was because he's gonna have an insane guy. And then this guy, mm, you want you guys saying Goku? This thing is must sun personally. I, I at least in my opinion depends on your teams, of course. But I think this is a must sun banner because there's some other good units like Toy One, Go Tanks, uh, Super Saiyan Four, and Omega is kind of falling off, but he's good. And overall, this banner is good. This is gonna be a fun banner summer. I'm gonna be selling tonight if you want to see. And if you guys hope enjoy this video, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope you guys do. Peace out.